How is your podcast going? Your podca podcast <laughs> called Armchair Expert <laughs> with Dax Shepard. How many episodes have you done of, of that? So like a hundred, I think. We, we, yeah, we, we had a year anniversary on Valentine's Day. Nice. And um, I love it because, as you know about me, I, I'll, I'll tell you anything. You yeah. just you ask you me. Do, you do reveal some things that mm. are oftentimes shocking. You've had an interesting life. Yes. And I've had certain guests who have come on that said, okay, I'll be on the podcast, but only if you tell this story. And in one of the, uh, one of the examples of this is Mila Kunis said, I'm only coming on if you tell your Jello story. Okay. So, gang, in a nutshell. <laughs> Not in a nutshell. Tell no, them. no, no, yeah. okay. All right. So, when I was younger, I loved this movie, Real Genius. Remember that movie, Val Kilmer? Yep. And then there was a bad guy. There was a bad guy, Kent, and they said to Kent as a joke, hey, Kent, what were you doing naked in your room with a bowl full of Jello?" And I was eight, and I was like, that sounds, I get it, like, that sounds pleasurable. Uh-huh. And, but as luck would not have it, my, we didn't have Jello in my house. Uh -huh. You had powdered milk, I, we didn't have Jello. Okay. So, for years, I was like, God, that would feel fantastic. <laughs> um, I can't get my hands on any Jello. I moved to L.A., I'm 20 years old, living in Santa Monica, and I'm just bored one evening, and all of a sudden I go, I have all the means I need. Like, I have a car, I got money. I went up to Savon Drugstore. They were slashing prices on Jell-O. Oh, bought, really? Yes. <laughs> I bought five boxes for a dollar. There was a sale, because I was like, this is going to be awesome. I'm going to want to do this multiple times. So I buy <laughs> five boxes of Jell-O. I go back to my apartment. I've never made Jell-O. I'm getting horny just having the boxes. And uh, I'm like reading the back, and I mix it all up in a, you know, in a big, 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 uh, you know, just, you know. Yeah. Uh, I mix it all up, and then, I'm, and then I'm like, wait for 30 minutes to cool. And I was like, oh my God. I thought I was like seconds away from action. <laughs> so I put the glass in the refrigerator, and then I just go sit in my lazy boy, and I'm just like, oh my goodness, this is taking forever. Uh, finally, 30 minutes up, I go get the glass of Jello out. I don't even take it to the bedroom. I don't know if that's even what you should do. In the kitchen, I, uh, I enter the Jello, and within six seconds, I'm just sloshing around Kool-Aid. It just completely disintegrates. Yeah. I'm basically like stirring Kool-Aid. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my God, this is terrible. <laughs> now I'm embarrassed, like, why did I do all this? And I like throw the glass in the sink and then I, I go to sleep. I wake up the next morning <laughs> and I'm peeing and I go, oh my goodness, uh, the Jello has um, clung to an STD. I have an STD. I don't know what kind, but I can see that there's an STD Something's on the, Yes, there's red, there's red on my penis. Uh -huh. I have an STD. I don't have insurance. I go to the LA free clinic. I'm behind the curtain. Curtain opens. This doctor had to have graduated that morning. She was 26 at the oldest. <laughs> Objectively an 11. I mean, still the most attractive doctor I've ever seen in my life. Oh, she wow. goes, so what's going on? And I'm like, I, there's no way I can say I had sex with Jello. <laughs> so I go, uh, I'm like, oh, my girlfriend and I were experimenting uh, during oral sex with Jello, and uh, I don't know if the dye has now just come to light of STD. I don't know. And Whatever. There's no she, girlfriend. She, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, there's yeah. no girlfriend at all. In the <laughs> so she says, all right, let's see what's going on. I'm standing up, she's knelt down. She goes, um, what flavor was it? <laughs> this is the most unbelievable story, whatever, it happened. I go, um, strawberry. And she goes, I like raspberry. <laughs> and I just got a 105% erection right in her face. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, and then I was just like, I'm already there for humping Jello. <laughs> now I have a full blown <laughs> erection in front of her. I mean, it was such a disaster. And she just goes, That's just a rash from the gelatin. You don't have an STD. You didn't have it. No. So that's the good news. Oh. <laughs> the bad news? Well, it's just more of a funny addendum. So. <laughs> I finally do meet a human to have real sex with. Oh, great. Brie, and uh -huh. she moves into the apartment, my apartment, 
We're living together for a couple years, and numerous times after dinner, she goes, hey, you want me to make um, some Jello for dessert? <laughs> and I go, no, 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 thank you. And then she asks, like, again and again. Finally, like, the fifth time she asked me, she's like, do you want some Jello? I go, no, I don't want any Jello. She goes, why, why do you never want Jello? Why, why do you even have Jello? And I go, I, well, I hate Jello. I, ha I have it because I made love to some of that jello. <laughs> you could be the new Bill Cosby with, with tales like this. Yeah. The jello was definitely consensual. The jello would way prefer to be made love to than eaten. That is, yeah. oh boy. Well, that's quite a story. That's Thank a, you. That's yeah. a, that's Shepard. He's got a lot of stories like this on his podcast. We'll be right back. Thanks for watching, and remember, every time you click the subscribe button, one of your enemies gets destroyed.